In this video, I'm going to review how I made the hanging door skirt for my Hummer H3. Now, I do a lot of camping and more often than not, I use my H3 as a tent. The one thing I wished I always had was a simple end table. A place where I could put my keys, my watch, my cell phone, maybe something to drink. I also have some extra gear pouches on here as well. And I have a flashlight up here at the end, so if I have to get up in the middle of the night, I can open up the door and illuminate the outside. With that said, I am no seamstress by any means. In fact, I know next to nothing about sewing. All I really did was take a needle and thread and use that to tie the material together. With that said, let's get started. I'm going to start by cutting the tops off of three grain holders I got at Menards for a buck a piece. Next, I'm going to drill three holes, one inch from the front, and then three more holes, an inch and a half from the front. Now, I'm going to rotate the mount 90 degrees and drill three more holes, one inch down. Lastly, I'm going to drill one more hole, an inch and three quarters down in the middle of the mount. With that done, I want to file down the rough edges and attach the mounts to my 18 by 30 piece of vinyl. I'm going to measure 9 inches in to find the center and attach the first mount. I'm going to start by simply taking a needle and thread and threading it through the center hole of the first three I drilled. Then I'm going to push the needle through the vinyl and through the hole on my left. Then back through the center hole up and down through the right. I'm going to repeat this pattern three times in each series of the three holes I drilled in the three mounts. Okay, with the mounts attached, I'm going to cut a quarter inch piece of aluminum at 17 inches. Next, I'm going to drill a hole at 8.5 inches, then I'm going to drill a hole at each end. Next, I'm going to punch a hole through the vinyl using the one remaining hole on the mount as a guide. Then, I'm going to use a zinc plated machine screw and a number 8 flat washer to attach the aluminum. After that, I'm going to repeat this process on each end. With that done, I want to cut off the excess portion of the screws and file them down to a smooth surface. Next, I'm going to hang the vinyl over the door by placing the mounts along the edge of the window. This will allow me to mark my cutout so I'll be able to access my door handle and window switch. Now I'm going to hem the edges for a little extra durability. Okay, with the edges hemmed, I'm ready to start on my attachments. I'm going to start with a piece of vinyl that's 9 inches by 4 and a quarter inches, a circle that measures 2 and 3 quarter inches across, and a piece that's 1 by 4 inches, which will hold the aluminum mounting bracket. So now, I'm going to fold the vinyl in half with the vinyl inside and stitch it together. Then, I want to take the piece for the aluminum mount and stitch that on, leaving the top open. Lastly, I'm going to stitch on the bottom and turn it right side out. I did add some stitching across the top and center just for some added durability. Next, I'm going to take a quarter inch by four inch piece of aluminum and drill a hole at each end. I'll 
I'll then slide this into the inside pocket and that will mount my crank holder. Then I'm going to repeat this process for my other gear pouches. Okay, with the gear pouches made, I'm going to stitch them in place. And now that they've been stitched in place and the bottom is hemmed, it's time to hem the sides and the top. I'll be back when that's done. At this point, everything has been hemmed. Velcro has been added to the attachments, and Velcro added along the side of the bottom hem. And the two pieces of Velcro along the inside top portion of the binder. Next, I'm going to add a few cardboard pieces which have been cut to size. This will give me a little extra durability and a place to mount my aluminum bracket. Okay, at this point, I'm ready to attach the aluminum brackets. I'm simply using a small screwdriver to poke holes through the vinyl and then through the cardboard. I'm going to use a zinc plated machine screw with the number 8 washer to secure the attachment. Now, I'll repeat these steps with the cup hole. With that done, all that's left is to tighten up the screws, cut off the excess, and then grind them smooth. And that's it. Fairly easy to make, removable, I have access to my door handle and window switch, and takes up next to no space in my Hummer H3. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos. Happy Mother's